Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is the nine patch star, finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram. We have a nine patch in the center and then we have flying geese units on the sides and squares in the corners. If we look at this block, we can turn it into a four by four grid. We put one line here and cut these flying geese in half and then another here. So this is grid number one, this is two, three, and four. And we have the same thing down the side. So four by four grid. And this is a 12 inch block, which means that the units inside each grid space need to finish at three inches. This is a three and a half inch cut square. And once it's sewed together, it will be three inches finished. This flying geese unit takes up two grid spaces. So that means it's three inches tall and six inches wide, finished. So it's a three by six unit. And then this is another three. And it goes like that all the way down here and here. The center, if we cut these in half, this square takes up four grid spaces. So that means it's a six inch by six inch nine patch because it's a nine patch. There are nine patches, three across and three down in this unit in the center. Here are blocks set block to block with a little sashing in between it. I didn't like the look of it block to block, but you may. So I just added the sashing and that's what it looks like. I have the dark accent fabric first and that is the inside of the nine patch and then these little triangles on the star points. Patch A is we cut one three and a half inch square, and that's this square here. Patch D, we cut four two and three eighth inch squares. We cut once on the diagonal for eight patches. And that are these little units here, the accent, dark accent fabrics and the star points. Patch F, we cut four two inch squares. And these are the corner pieces in the nine patch in, in the inside of the block. For the star points, here's the fabric here, we're going to cut two at two inches by 17 inches. And I'm going to show you how I cut these. For the background fabric, we have patch A, we need four three and a half inch squares, and those are in the corners. Patch B, we need one seven and one quarter inch square, cut in half twice diagonally for four patches. This is the geese part of the flying geese unit. That's this part here, patch B. And patch G, we cut four at two inches times three and a half inch rectangles. That is these long rectangles in the center nine patch. These AccuQuilt dies will cut every shape except for these star points. Let's look at the fabrics and we'll do some cutting too. This is my test flying geese unit and we'll piece those later. I'm going to start just by looking at the piecing. If we look at step one, we're going to piece this nine patch in the center. So let's lay out our pieces. The square goes in the middle. Then we put our rectangles around each side of the square. And now we have our small squares we put in the corners. And there you have your nine patch for the center. You'll sew the top patches together, the middle and the bottom, and press your seams. Then you're going to sew the three rows together and you'll have your center nine patch finished. The center nine patch is done. We'll put this to the side. Now we're going to turn our attention to the flying geese unit. First, we'll need to cut out the star points because they're an odd shape, but don't let that scare you. On the cutting instructions for the star points, you cut two at two inches times 17 inches. Now I've already cut one set off. We'll put these wrong sides together and I'm going to start on this end. I think if you're left-handed, you can start on this end. So we've got these together and we need to cut three and seven eighth inch segments out of here. Three and seven eighths is a little bit hard to 
fine, but just take your time. Make sure you have a good ruler that has the eighth inch marks on it. I use this simple 7 eighths ruler. It has, instead of inch markings and half inch, it has 7 eighth inch markings. So I'm going to use it to cut three and seven eighth inch segments. And I've already cut one, so I need to cut three. Now we'll keep these stacked, wrong sides together. We're going to use the 45 degree mark on this ruler to cut an angle 45 degrees. You can do it on this side or you can do it on this side whatever is easiest for you to cut. So you take your 45 degree angle and you line it up with the bottom of these, this set. Remember we have them stacked. And go as close to the edge over here as you can and then cut. And this is, we just throw that out. So here are our star points and we have a left and a right star point. And that's what you want. And we'll do that to these other two. But we're going to go on and piece the fine geese unit. These are patch D, and they're going to be sewn like this. So this one to this side, and this one to this side. Can't really see that. Here's what you do. You're going to, you want this side to be straight after you've sewn it, and you want this side to be straight after you've sewn it. You want a triangle, because this is the sky portion of the flying geese. So we'll take this piece and flip it over like this. You're going to match this side and this side. So you'll match the two sides. Then you'll stitch a quarter of an inch, or a scant quarter of an inch, this way. You do the same thing on this side. Flip it over match this edge and the bottom edge and sew your scant quarter of an inch. I want you to see a close-up of these stitching. Here's this side and this side. And you noticed how the stitching starts right here in this V shape and that's what you want. So if I flip this over and once I press this open this is a straight line right across here. And then the bottom is a straight line too. And this one is the same way. Flip it over, straight line, and this one is a straight line down here. For all of your four sets of star points, do this. Finish cutting these and get to this point with both of them. We're going to, now you'll press your seams open and there's a little nub to cut off right here. We have our star points done. And these are the sky portion of the flying geese. And we'll take our patch B and we're going to sew them like this. So let's move these out of the way. They go like this. You take one side, and let's move this out of the way. Flip this over and you'll match the top edge and the side edge. Then stitch your scant quarter of an inch across here and then press the seams open. Here is the sky part on the right hand side. Now you have these nubs. Be sure to cut this one off and cut it straight with this edge because this is the edge you're going to be sewing. And then I go ahead and cut these off too. The next one we're going to stitch just like this. Do the same way. Flip it over, match the top edge here and the side edge and then stitch your scant quarter of an inch seam. Here is the little V that you need to start your stitching right there so it will be flat. Here is the piece I just sewed and you see this is nice straight line here and I'll need to cut that nub off. And then we have two more little nubs down here. So finish the rest of your flying geese units and we'll put the block together. Okay, now it's time for the proppet board and put our block together. And there's our block. We stitch the top units together, the middle, 
and the bottom. Press the seams and then stitch the rows together. When you stitch the flying geese unit to any of these sides, you want to put the flying geese unit on top. You see I've stitched a scant quarter of an inch and I've stayed away from the point because we want the points to be there when you open it up and press the seams. So it always helps if you have your seams pressed open then you'll see the point and you'll avoid cutting the point off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.